Yo, 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 it's your homeboy Kiwosagi in the building. Welcome to another episode of my open discussion series. In this episode, I explain why Naruto will most likely be bigger than Dragon Ball um, in future. So first of all, I have two disclaimers. The first disclaimer is listen to what I have to say. If you don't want to listen to what I have to say, then you can get the fuck out of here. Why did you bother clicking the link? Um, second thing is this will be an audio only video. Um, the reality is Tards exist for every series, and for a series as big as Dragon Ball, it's definitely definitely not going to lack Tards. So I don't want to risk this video getting flagged just because some dude, you know, uh, or some girl doesn't like my opinion or whatever. Uh, that, that out of the way, let's continue. So first of all, you have to sort of understand the backbone behind DBZ's popularity, and the backbone is its anime. Take away the anime and all you have is the manga. The manga isn't going to get kids aware of Dragon Ball. Um, and I'm talking about worldwide because if we're talking about Japan only, you know, Japan, you can't become that big of a series being Japan only. Look at One Piece, right? You need to already be in the anime community for the most part to get into One Piece. You know what I'm saying? Most people got into anime through Naruto or DBZ rather than One Piece because it's not that action oriented. That's not, um, it's more story oriented than these other series. Whereas most people, they get into anime because they sort of see these beast fights and like, holy shit, I need to get me into this shit. And they, they get into anime like that. And yeah, DBZ is, you know, legendary. It's, you know, really old, but it still gets reruns till this day. You know, that's just um, a testament to how big it is, how popular it is. And that's the thing with anime. Anime can last for a really long time in terms of its appeal. If you do an anime right, you know, then future generations are going to still like the anime. So the main thing with Dragon Ball is, as good as it is, um, at the end of the day, uh its animation quality isn't getting any newer it's not getting any fresher and eventually people are going to look at it and they're going to look at the new stuff and they're going to look at it like the way you would look at let's say a ps1 game or a ps2 game when you have like a ps3 or a ps4 you know what i'm saying it's going to be really hard for you to get into that so if you're not already into dragon ball or if you're not already into anime you know you know you're going to look at dragon ball and just going to give it a pass that's that's how it's it's going to be um eventually of course eventually and it's tiny little things like that that are going to slowly or even they're, they're going to slowly pluck out you know different uh potential viewers from dragon ball's viewership and eventually that's going to diminish and decay until it reaches a point where it's more profitable for a tv channel to show a different anime that's newer than show an old anime like dragon ball and when you take away the anime from dragon ball um you take away a lot of the future fans you know you, you, you pretty much put a cap on the total number of fans that the series is going to get and you know it just start, things everything starts dying off from there in terms of popularity and then it becomes like you know astro boy or some other series that was big in this day but right now it's kind of irrelevant now a lot of series have tried i mean every series wants to be the next dragon ball but the thing is dragon ball is it's that good of a series and it's gonna take a long time or at least it's gonna take um the animation quality to really be outdated for dragon ball to start slacking and the thing is i think i think it's gonna get to that point relatively soon we also have to consider even if it doesn't right even if it doesn't, Naruto is that bit is um what do you call it? It, it takes all the boxes. Action oriented. It's a long series. It has Shippuden, which has you know newer graphics and stuff. Um, it really takes the boxes and it's easy to market. It's really almost like a clone of Dragon Ball um from a money maker's perspective. So um someone would rather have would rather show both Naruto and Dragon Ball, right? A TV channel that shows anime would rather show both of them than just show Dragon Ball. And you know eventually people are gonna. I guess people are going to flock to Naruto more than they flock to Dragon Ball because we also have to consider Naruto came after Dragon Ball. There's a lot more layers to it in terms of the story and all that kind of shit. Um, the animation quality is definitely superior. You know, you have some really crazy smooth fights, you know, um, and there's just so many tiny factors that make it a better anime than the Dragon Ball anime. And I'm, I'm just, um, yeah, just overall, um, in particular, Shippuden. But, you know, anyways, this video is getting uh, slightly longer than I in intended. So I'll try and wrap things up. Simply put, Dragon Ball is not getting any younger. It's going to become outdated eventually. And if it were to get outdated tomorrow, Naruto will become the new Dragon Ball because it fits. It takes all the boxes to, you know, just to, to become that popular, to sell that much merchandise, to keep selling games and to, you know, attract people into the community. And that's another thing that's really important. The first series you watch, the first anime that gets you into anime, that series is going to hold you know, a special place in your heart, especially if you um, got into anime at a young age. I mean, if you get into anime at, at an older age, that might not necessarily be the case, but I will say, you know, for me, the first few series, the first few anime that I watched, you know, as a kid and stuff, um, even though they might not necessarily be all that good, 
I mean, no, they're all good, but even though they might not necessarily be the greatest of all time and shit like that, you know, I'm definitely going to have a bias towards them. And, um, yeah, that's just how things go. And when Naruto pulls people in, you know, to anime, it's going to get a really strong following, much stronger than right now as the years go on. And I could see it becoming um, on that level of Dragon Ball, if not further. Although that's going to be that's going to be really hard. It's going to be really hard to top Dragon Ball, but it could definitely fill in its shoes and take over the throne. And that's really all you need, really. All you need to do is take over the throne. You don't necessarily need to be a better series in terms of quality and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, in terms of the anime market, I think, I think um, the worldwide anime market, I think, uh, I think Naruto will eventually have more viewers on average than Dragon Ball, and from there it's gonna it's gonna branch out because the viewers are gonna become manga fans and shit like that, and they're gonna buy the merchandise, and eventually it's all gonna snowball into Naruto surpassing Dragon Ball, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, surprisingly long video. Thank you for chilling all the way to the end. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, thank you guys for watching.